And welcome back to another commentary. This one's a little bit interesting because there's no actual Watch Me Draw version of it on this channel. There is one or will be one on the Yomama channel probably this Saturday or Friday. And uh, I, I know that like there's always like this constant inner dialogue battle when it comes to the commentaries of me talking about the Yomama pieces. They're really cool because I got paid to do them by the exact same time. I'm sure a lot, like, everyone's like, no, 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 it's cool, Steven. You know, you just, you just do that thing. You, you, I just like seeing you draw. I don't even care what you draw. And I'm just like, you're a cool fan, but I'm sure not everyone feels that exact same way. And so this one, um, I knew that there wasn't going to be any, uh, watch me draw this week because I'm concentrating on finishing a, another Let's Play animation of Five Nights at Freddy's. It's, uh, Five Nights at Freddy's 2 for Wade or Lord Minion 777. He uh, graciously paid me to animate a video and also said that I could put it on my channel with a little additional stuff, which is always really cool. And uh, the first Five Nights at Freddy video did really, really well on my channel. So much so that I'm a little aggravated by the fact that it's now the most watched thing on my channel. And it's not its not super well animated. It's not, I don't know, it's, it's not even written. It's just, uh, I mean, out of all the Five Nights at Freddy animations you could possibly run into, I think mine's probably one of the most unique because... It's not just a bunch of random clips from some Let's Player. I mean, it is, but I also edited it together to where it tells a story. With the second video, I'm trying to do the same thing, but it's a little tougher because Wade doesn't have two people playing it. Instead, it's uh, it's one person, so I'm trying to... There's no witty banter between the two. And here I am. It's a minute and a half, and I haven't even talked about the actual drawing at hand. So let's let's switch back gears and talk about it. So this one is uh, based off of James Bond. This isn't the first James Bond picture I've done. In fact, if you check out my Divan art, you can see where I did one with uh, Chippendale Rescue Rangers. Um, by the way, if you haven't watched Chippendale Rescue Rangers, go give that a like. You might not like it because you might be grown out of it, but um, when the Disney Afternoon came out, it was awesome. But yeah, I did a one called Double O Dale. There's an episode of Chippendale Rescue Rangers where Dale is, is really excited about a... Uh, James Bond parody and he wanted to be one and so the gang kind of make a fake case for him and it's a it's a really sweet episode and then of course the the micro film that uh, that was supposed to be their family vacation photos got uh, actually got mixed up with another people's uh, picture or their micro transaction th micro transaction the the film and so uh, what became a fake case became a real case and uh, it's a really good good episode check it out sometime well I, I knew that I wanted to do something with this because there wasn't really much direction to go with when it came to the Yamama pictures this was one of six different commissions and. Uh, it was one of those things where they didn't give me, they, were, they weren't like, do this one, do this one, do this one. I was like, okay, let's do James Bond. I think, I think Brody would be really into, because one of the things about these posters was I was trying to get into Brody's mind and be like, what would Brody think is cool? And what's not cooler than being an international secret spy? And uh, the girl here that we're seeing on the screen, uh, which by the way, isn't my best drawing ever. I'm really bad at drawing red minuses females. Uh, I, I'm trying to not just like, because there's one, you can copy a style by just redrawing what someone else drew with like slight alterations. And then there's trying to understand the guy's mindset and drawing your own thing. And I wanted to make sure that it, it was a character from the movie. It just in your mama style and I didn't want it to be just oh here's the hot chick that you know red minus tends to draw in your mama over and over again I, di I didn't want that I wanted something a little bit unique and uh, I just wasn't able to translate that into something that looked appealing for the most part this doesn't look terrible but it doesn't look stellar either in fact when it comes to this piece I really really like how Brody came out I think it's a really solid drawing and then I, I think the girl kind of the bikini girl kind of just took it down a little bit and um so the idea was to have Brody with a gun, because that would be really cool, you know, little headshot of Brody, and then have a bikini girl, because judging by the demographic when it comes to your mama, it's, you know, it's usually kind of younger guys, so I figured that would do well. And, uh, you know, it probably would have if I drew the female in a way that was appealing. And you'll see at the end of the video that, uh, by the way, I recorded this commentary twice. Uh, the first one was doing really, really well. And then uh, there were some minor errors with uh, the recording. Basically, uh, when I recorded this like a month or two ago, it I forgot to turn off the recorder. And so there's like this good like hour footage of me just like stopping the drawing, going to like, you know, uh, Tumblr, going to Skype, talking to someone and just a bunch of other stuff. And then there's like this like half an hour of where I got up to like get a drink or something and then didn't come back. And so it's just like standing there. 
And uh, even with the sped up footage, there's like 30 seconds worth of that. And I'm just like, uh, I think it might have froze. And I was like, this is a bad commentary. Let's uh, let's uh, end this and go back, you know. So I edited that out for you guys. So yeah, so uh, you, you'll see you at the end. I went through and I uh, redrew her her face, just kind of edited over it. Uh, I didn't bother, like, you know, because when, once you get so far with this, you, there's obviously an order of operations you want to do. You want to do a sketch, line art, then color. And uh, for this one, I was like one of those things where it's like, oh, okay, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to paint on top and then kind of correct my stuff as I go, which is the worst way of doing it. But when you're in a hurry and, like, at the time, I was trying to get, like, six of these done in, like, a week and a half or something like that. So it was one of those things where it's like, all right, let's just, let's just do it, just do it. That's the worst voice of myself ever. So, uh, so partial of what this was was okay. Bikini Girl, that's great. By the way, it's based off a character in the James Bond movies. I think the actress's name is Ursula something. I confession time. I've never actually watched any James Bond's movie. Um, if I did, I was a kid and I forgot most of it. But uh, I've never really been a big, huge fan of James Bond. Uh, everything that I know about James Bond was parodied in uh, um, Austin Powers, and that's that, that's that's my James Bond, is Mike Meyer in a uh, '70s outfit. Go me or '60s. I'm really bad with time. So uh, one thing I, I really like was how the painting came out. I I sampled colors and then obviously altered them to fit Brody's skin tone, and uh, there's just kind of this like retro look to it that looks really really stellar. Just something about the colors. And, like, you know, these are obviously not the shades you would normally use with a character like this, but it works so well in the sense of, like, you know, those retro posters, especially movie posters. And uh, I knew that I was going to use the same technique I used with uh, Epic Brody, where his hair, which, by the way, you know, I think I talked about it in the Epic Brody commentary as well, but Brody's never really had realistically shaded hair. I mean, his hair in Yo Mama is very stylized to be 2D, right? But you never really, like, think about, like, how does Brody's hair really work in 3D space? There's a lot of cartoon characters just in general that you never really think about. It's like their hair would not work in 3D space. Or, like, Popeye, for example. Popeye's face should not work in 3D space. And it's amazing to find out that they're actually doing a 3D Popeye because and you, you'll notice that he'll never look directly at the camera or uh, he's always, like, his head's always positioned in a way because it won't work. They have to edit the model to make it fit because... Um, Popeye was not designed with 3D in mind. He was designed as a cartoon. Uh, right now I'm using the Chunky Chalk brush again, which is one of my favorite custom brushes. I always get comments, Steven, what brush do you use? And I'm always like, the default brush or Chunky Chalk? That's one of the two. Chunky Chalk brush, if you want it, go to DeviantArt, just Google Chunky Chalk, Chunky Chalk brush, and boom, you get it. It's a fantastic custom brush. Check it out. I guess I could probably just link it, but I'll probably forget between now and the upload of the video. But yeah, so uh, Chunky Chalk Brush, something about it just really, really stellar. Um, it, I think it might be just like uh, the way it controls versus the default brushes. Like when you lift up a little bit on the pen, which by the way, you know, it's really interesting, but I find that a lot of people think I'm using a, um, a, t a mobile tablet, like a, like a phone or something. But uh, I'm using a graphics tablet. It's a Cintiq uh, screen. It's one where it's basically my computer screen and I'm using a pen and it, it actually like... It tracks my how hard I push down on the screen and how light I push on the screen, and it gives you pen pressure. There's so many different comments, especially from my tutorial, where we were like, "Well, the pen pressure's not working." I'm like, "Are you using a mouse?" Uh, no. I'm, oh, really? That's everyone else usually using a mouse. This is sweet. Let me help you out here. And they go, "Oh, I'm using a laptop." And I'm like, "Oh, so you're using the the pad?" Um, well, that's that's a mouse, you know. Uh, you see here, I'm rationally just kind of editing some stuff here, trying to make it look a little bit more appealing. And I, pr I'm pretty sure the girl that appears in the actual poster is not this one. Uh, after a while, I just kind of gave up on recording, and I just, yeah, just wound up, you know, kept because I think it was like going back and forth with uh, Zach, the creator of, or one of the creators of Yo Mama, and uh, it was one of those things where we just kept going back and forth and recording, and I'm recording just was too much of a hassle. So I hope you guys enjoyed this commentary. It, it was an interesting one, in my opinion. And uh, if you did, you know, subscribe, leave comments, blah, 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 blah. And I'll see you guys soon. Uh, this Friday, there's not a Watch Me Draw. Sorry, but there will be an animation. So, yay.